buying I bonds, T bills in your IRA or 401k. Hey everyone, Adam Bergman here, tax attorney and founder of IRA Financial. On today's Adam Talks, we're going to be chatting about how you can buy I bonds or T bills in an IRA or 401k. So let me just set the agenda for today's podcast. I will talk about and explain what T bills are, what I bonds are, and uh, then we'll talk about how you can buy either I bonds or T bills uh, through Treasury Direct and what you got to think about in terms of using a self directed IRA, CLC, and, and solo 401k. So let's start with, um, let's start with. I guess T-bills, why don't we start there? Um, T-bills are basically short duration securities or bonds, whereas an I-bond is basically a 30 year term note. Okay, so that's the major distinction between a T-bill and a I-bond is an I-bond is a 30 year charity duration note and a T-bill has different durations. Most are, uh, under a year, although some could range uh, for longer per- terms, but generally uh, shorter term type um, securities. Um, T-bills, I-bonds are backed by the United States government, so obviously they are uh, super safe. Um, T-bills you buy at auction. You can do it online now, thank- thankfully. <laughs> um, and uh, I-bonds, you don't have to buy an auction. You can just go in and buy them online. Through Treasury Direct, um, but you're limited to ten thousand bucks. Whereas uh, T bills, there's a max of ten million, minimum technically of a hundred bucks, but generally it's thousand dollar increments. Um, why are you going to buy this stuff, right? Let's start at the most important question: Why would someone want to buy I bonds or T bills? Well, the first reason obviously is interest rates, right? That's why people buy bonds. They want good rates. So right now, savings bond, you get a 6.89% interest. That's from November 1st to April 30th, 23. And these interest rates change um, twice a year, right? So the interest rates vary based off uh, market conditions. So 6.89% is obviously very good. Uh, Most um, I bonds, people are gonna hold for at least 12 months. Uh, it's not longer. Um, and obviously you can put up to 10 K it's per social security number per tax ID number. Um, and then ultimately, um, you'll sell them and, and the returns, you know, go back to the account. Uh, but today or this last six to eight months is probably been the most attractive time in a long, 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 long time to buy I bonds because interest rates have been so low, right? At COVID we were pretty much, uh, at, close to zero, prime was 3.25, now prime 7.50, right? So it's gone up more than two times. And really since 2010, interest rates have been, you know, historically low. So I bonds uh, have not been super sexy. T-bills, the interest rates you're gonna get, obviously uh, determine uh, based off what you're buying. For example, a 10 year treasury constant maturity, this week you'll get 3.92%. A uh, month ago, 3.5%. A year ago, 1.94. So you can see rates are going up. Um, a one-year MTA, 3.1. Two-year Treasury, constant maturity, 4.81. month ago, 4.21. A year ago, 1.56. Five-year Treasury, constant maturity. This week, 4.18. Last month, 3.63. A year ago, 1.85. Uh, 91-day T-bill auction. Average day rate, 4.75% this week. Last month, 4.595. A year ago, 0.44. So you can see why I'm doing these podcasts and videos in 23 versus uh, never done them before. Because really over the last 10 years, no one, um, people would buy T-bills and not really I-bonds, but they buy T-bills just for uh, you know safe way to park some cash short term. But it wasn't a vehicle where people were dumping money and like, actively looking for ways to get in it. And uh, one one year treasury constant maturity, this week 5.02%, last month 4.68, and a year ago 1.17. Okay, so that's why people want to buy I-bonds and um, T-bills. Um, the difference obviously is I-bond, you're capped at 10K um, per, per really person, but we'll see there's kind of a 
work around between IRAs, 401ks, and the individual. And um, you know, T-bills where you have more flexibility, more different types of accounts, and obviously a $10 million maximum. So different type of security. How do you buy this stuff? Well, you basically go to treasurydirect.gov. So it's all run by the government. And it's super easy, actually. It takes like literally five minutes. But before we get into how you do this, let's talk about self-directed IRAs and 401k. So essentially, if you want to buy this stuff online yourself, you're going to need a self-directed account because you're not going to be able to buy this through an IRA Fidelity or Schwab or IRA Financial because you technically can't open the account for you because it needs to be done by you know an authorized rep of the structure. Now, I bonds technically are open by individuals or entities, right? Not individual retirement accounts. So starting with I bonds, you wouldn't be able to do it directly in an IRA anyways. But if you go on treasurydirect.gov, you can open it in the name of an LLC or in the case of a 401k in a trust. So IRAs are technically trusts, same with 401ks. The only difference is a 401k is trustee directed and an IRA is custodian directed. So to have a 401k, you as a trustee have authority over the plan assets, or in the IRA, the custodian, say IRA Financial, has the control. So you wouldn't be able to set up an I bond directly through an IRA custodian. But if you set up an LLC that the IRA owns, you can open the account in the name of the LLC, use the tax ID number of the LLC, the name of the LLC. Then you, as the authorized rep, can set up an account and put up to 10K from your retirement account into the I bond. So so in some, you can't do it directly through an IRA or Roth or SEP or Simple or even a 401k, but you can do it through a self-directed IRA LLC using the vehicle as the LLC is the vehicle, excuse me, to um, open the account. Same with a solo K. Solo K is basically a 401k that's geared towards self-employed individual or small businesses with no full-time employees other than the owners or their spouses. So you'd set up a solo K and then the solo K would set up the account. Um, so let's kind of go through the process right now. It's super quick. You go to treasurydirect.gov. Instead of individual, you'll type in, let's say, LLC. Okay. Or you can set up trust if you're doing a form. Okay. And you click submit. And then you put in the name of the LLC. Okay. You give your account a name, like whatever, Joe XYZ LLC. You put in the tax ID number. Um, you put the street name of the LLC, whatever the address of the LLC is. And then there's the account manager info where you put, you know, my your, your name, let's say it's my IRA, Adam Bergman, my tax ID number, um, which um, technically uh, could be, would be my social, my date of birth, my driver's license from the state expiration. Then you put the account managers, contact info, street address, um, phone, things like that, your email. And that's it. And you put in your bank account info for the LC and you're done. So it's literally like five minutes. The interesting thing with I bonds is technically um, it's, it's 10K per person. So they don't look at the account manager information to determine the 10K. They look at the individual or entity type. So if you set up an account, Adam Bergman, and use your social as the individual applying, and then set up an IRA LC using the LC EIN, technically you'll be able to put in 20. Now, is that the intent of the rules? You know, I'm not sure, but Treasury Direct uh, will let you do it. Even if you're the account manager and use your social just to be the account manager, that's not going to limit your 10K. It's going to be based off who's the actual person that's applying for the account. So it's 10K per individual, but then you can use technically uh, an entity owned by a retirement account with a different tax ID number that doesn't obviously match your social and then generally get another 10K. Same with a solo K. So unlike an LLC, um, all you would do different is instead of checking limited liability company, you would check trust, which is the last option on the bottom. You click submit, then you put the name of the 401k, you know, John Doe 401k plan. You give it an account name. You use your tax ID number of the 401k, which IRA Financial would provide, address. Um, then the account manager, you'd be the trustee. So you put in your name, your um, social, um, date of birth, um, license, things like that, street address, phone number. And then you'd connect it to the 401k bank account, not your personal bank account, 401k bank account, and bang, you're done. And you just check the box, submit, and you get an account. And then once the money hits 
treasury direct, you can go buy what you need to do. So super easy. And that's essentially the way you can buy T-bills or I-bills through with a self-record IRA or 401k. You're going to need that checkbook control. You're going to need that LLC. And you're going to need the solo K with checkbook control. Um, so you're going to make sure your documents allow for the trustee to have total checkbook control, which generally is um, you know, it requires you to set up a plan. A company like IRA Financial that specializes in 401k plans that doesn't offer investments and basically has a fee model around you know, just providing open architecture plan docs. Um, obviously, the, the game is get higher interest rate, get very secure investments. It's backed by the United States government. No matter the jokes about the government and, and who's in charge and things like that, it's still the best country in the world with the strongest economy in the world by far. So you'd rather have anything backed by the U.S. government than any other country in the world, no matter what you feel uh, of the current state of our economy and of our government. It's still the safest. So um, obviously, T-bills, you can go above the 10K. I-bond, you can't. I-bonds, you get a higher interest rate than T-bills. T-bills, you get a little bit more selection in terms of the bonds that can be purchased. But otherwise, listen, it's a nice way to diversify. It's another investment angle, another investment option. Um, and, and that was the point of today's podcast is really giving people um, some knowledge in terms of what T-bills are, what I-bonds are, the differences how they work, how you can open an account at treasurydirect.gov, and then ultimately why you need a self-directed IRA LLC and a solo K to do it, and why just using an IRA Fidelity is not going to allow you to buy uh, an I-bond. Uh, you may be able to buy T-bills, but not I-bonds. Um, and obviously, if a solo K, same thing, you need a plan with checkbook control that lets you do I-bonds or uh, T-bills. The beauty of the self-directed IRA LLC or the solo K is that, you know, as a trustee or the manager of the LLC, you'll have the checkbook control so you can uh, have the ability to go directly on Treasury Direct uh, and set up the account. Plus, the plan obviously can be used to do other investments like real estate or hedge fund, private equity, cryptos, gold. So you don't just have the ability to do T-bills or I-bonds, but you can do a whole slew of, of investments, essentially almost anything you want except collectibles, life insurance, and an IRA, and then you know self-dealing stuff like can't buy a house and live in it or buy yourself a Porsche uh, or a Rolex watch, but otherwise you, you can do it. So you can buy a house to rent it. You can buy it in, into an investment fund, a friend's business, um, cryptos, gold, things like that. So um, hope you guys enjoyed today's podcast. Um, interesting topic. Again, before six months ago, I don't think anyone ever asked me about I-bonds uh, or T-bills, to be honest, right? Last year, interest rates were like 1%, right? Who the hell would buy T-bills or I-bonds? No one, you gotta be crazy to buy fixed income, right? That's why stocks were flying, cryptos were flying, real estate was flying because interest rates were pretty much zero and there was nothing else to do with the money. So you couldn't get any returns on fixed income, bonds were nothing, uh, money market was nothing. So you had to buy equities or alts. So now with interest rates up, you know there are different choices and different opportunities, uh, which is great. So might as well take advantage of a higher interest rate uh, environment. So. Thanks for um, listening. Obviously, you can pick up this weekly podcast anywhere you listen to podcasts. If you're watching on YouTube, gracias. Thank you. Uh, great channel. We drop three videos and a YouTube live every Wednesday at noon Eastern uh, and three podcasts that you can watch if you'd rather watch and listen. Uh, also, don't forget to, uh, if you can, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to leave a comment, question. Love to hear from you and I'll do my best to answer as quick as possible. Otherwise, have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for listening or watching. And uh, I'll talk to everyone again soon. Take care.